Alright, uh, welcome friends to our channel where we are presenting lessons in mathematics. Actually, these are serious lessons. We mean serious business here. Alright? Uh, what, differ what differentiates us from these others in terms of the product that we are offering on the market is the, the manner in which we are presenting these lessons. Here we are presenting these lessons holistically. It is a full package. Alright? We are bringing these classroom lessons direct into your offices. Direct into your living rooms, direct into your bedrooms. All right, there's nothing that we are leaving out. We are leaving no stone unturned. All right, so that you are able to to sit for these exams with the uh, the maximum confidence, if you want to put it that way. All right. Now, in this presentation, we continue dealing with the uh, calculus, and the, this is the lesson number fourteen. Here, we are interested in the product rule. Right? I think the, the lesson number 13 we are dealing with the uh, chain rule. Right? Now, how do you differentiate a product rule from a chain rule? What we are saying is that if you have a function like this, y is equal to 2x plus 3 to the power 4. You know here you deal with it, a chain rule because you just have the power. Alright? And there's only one function. But if you have got two functions, alright, for example, y is equal to x squared multiplied by 2x plus 4. This is a function on its own and this is a, a function on its own. Because I'm multiplying these functions, I'm trying to get a product there. So what kind of a formula will I use here? I will not use the chain rule, but I will use the product rule. Again, in the same product rule, you might be required to apply the concept of chain rule. Alright? So see the difference here. So here you apply the chain rule. Then here you use the product rule. Now, what are we saying? If I told we to apply this uh, product rule. Okay, so we are saying if you have uh, a, a function y which is equal to w, I uh, mean uh, u times v, alright? Where u and v are functions, so you have got two functions. You are multiplying this function u by that function v, alright? Now, how do you how do you differentiate? How do you find the derivative? How do you find the differential coefficient or the gradient of the function? You are going to say dy dx is equal to u, alright? You maintain your u, but differentiate v. Plus, you do the, op the, the opposite. You keep your v differentiate u. But now, if you are to with the other, the other, where to bring the other way around. Where you start with the V, then you go to U, it doesn't matter. So, what you are saying is, if you have got Y that is called U by V, where U is a function, V is a function as well. So, you have got two functions. You are going to keep this function, which is U here, but find the derivative of this one and you multiply. Then you say plus, you keep this function. Then find the derivative of who? u. So we are saying u multiplied by v prime. v prime is the derivative, which is v, dv dx. Alright? Plus, I get my v, then get the derivative of what? u, which is v multiplied by du dx. So now, when you have a function like this one, a, alright? y is equal to this by that. So you must decide. Which one should be your u and the v? So we'll say, let u be equal to x to the power 3 plus x. So that, uh, so that, alright, u prime. By u prime, I mean du dx. du dx, alright? So, so that u prime is equal to, I will differentiate this. I will say, what is my coefficient here? It's a 1, right? So 3 by 1 is 3. x, what is my power there? It's 3. 3 minus 1, I have got 2. Plus, here you have got 1. Alright? 1 by 1, it will be 1. Then there will be x, 1 minus 1. Now, 1 minus 1 is a 0. x to the power 0 is 1. 1 by 1 is 1. So here, we just made with a 1. Alright? So here, we just made with a 1. 
That is my, my u. Okay? Then I'll say, let my v. What is my v? The second function is this one. I'll say, okay, let my the second function be equal to x squared minus 4x plus what? 2. So that, okay? So that, and if you want, you may not put that statement, okay? So that, uh, v prime, so that when I differentiate this, I get some uh, value function. So I'll say v prime is equal to, here is 1, I don't know, it's okay? So 2 by 1, then I've got 2. x to the power, 2 minus 1 is a 1, okay? And x to the power 1 is a 1, so you can have that. Minus 4, alright? Here is a 1. 1 by negative 4, you have negative 4. 1 minus 1 will be 0. x to the power 0 is 1. 1 by negative 4 is negative 4. Alright. So this is what we have. Because what we need here is to have v prime and u prime. Do we have this? Yes, we do. So now we write. Say, okay. dy dx is equal to u. We start with u. u here. What is my u? My u is this. x to the power 3. Plus x. Alright? You must multiply this by this, the derivative of v. What's the derivative of v? Is this one. So I'll say, open bracket, 2x minus what? 4. Alright? Plus v. What is v? v is this one. Alright? So you say, x squared minus 4x. Plus c two. You multiply by u prime. What is the prime of u? Okay, the prime of u here. So see, I was saying multiply by. This is the prime of u. u. Three x squared plus one. Three x squared plus c one. Okay. So this is our function. We can even end here. Or if you want, you just multiply. You can multiply, but even here it is okay. Just the radian function is fine. This is what we are going to get. Okay, so we are saying to differentiate this, we are saying we will say dy dx is equal to u v prime plus v u prime. Alright. So now, since this is our function, we are going to say let by u be equal to x squared. So that, what does that mean? So that my u prime, when I differentiate this, I'll get it to x. Alright? And I hope that is clear. So this is my u and this is my v. And let v be equal to x plus what? Plus 2. So that um, v prime is equal to, when I differentiate this, the answer will just be 1. Alright? The answer will just be 1. Because here is 1, 1 by the coefficient is 1. Then 1 minus 1 will be 0. x to the power 0 is, is a 1. So I'll take this one. So now I'll say, dy dx is equal to what is my u? My u is x squared. Alright? Open the bracket. What is my v prime? My v prime is 1 plus. Uh, what is the, my v? My v is the x plus what? 2. Alright? Then what is my u prime? The u prime here uh, my u prime is 2x. So I'll say by 2x. Alright. So you can see that this is a very simple uh, function. So we can easily simplify this one. So x squared plus. Alright. Plus here if you want to distribute. So here x by 2x. So you have 2x squared plus 4x. Right? Meaning that 
dy dx is equal to x squared plus 2x squared, we get 3x squared plus 4x. So this one becomes the, the gradient function. Alright? That one becomes the gradient function. I hope that is okay. So that one becomes our gradient function. Okay? So that's how you do it. Okay? Um, okay, so this one is our answer. So the difference between this one and the first one was that this one is a, a very simple function. Okay? So you can simplify. And that's where we end. So I'll give you an exercise which I'll write on the board. Okay? Alright, so this is your exercise. So the first one is here where you're supposed to find the derivative of this. Okay? For the second one, we are saying find the differential coefficient. By this we mean you getting the gradient. Okay? So you apply the same the same method, the same formula, and now I want you to get the, the exact number. So when you are done, you substitute, you, you, you put a zero in place of x. Okay, thanks so much.